wow, look at these giant iguanas she caught in her trap. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh! It just got him. Oh! 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 Oh, they're trying to run up the trap. Oh my gosh! They're trying to flip it! Oh my gosh, we got another one here. Oh my gosh! seeing the size of this iguana right here that she just caught. He's a big boy. That, Grab him, oh, no bang. freaking way. Jessica, you are they a savage. A She's oh. literally gonna go in this tree after this iguana. What's going on, Iguana Man gang? It's the Iguana Man. Today, we're linking up with Tara and Jessica from Iguana Solutions. We're gonna be chasing down and caging wild invasive iguanas. Wow. There's cool fish in this water all the time with pretty colors. Oh, I don't yeah. know fish, you see them? Dude, it looks like a tilapia and that looks like some kind of sick root. Yes. All right, guys, so we are with Jessica from Iguana Solutions. There's a trap. Oh, hold on. Oh, man. Dude. Sick. Oh, my gosh. You to get them out. It's so hard to get out when they're Wow, look at these giant iguanas she caught in her trap. Iguana time. Big boy. I think he's huge. What do you think he's pushing? About five, six? Feet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right. like five. Weight wise, he's well over 10, you're right? Well, right around 10 pounds. He's really beat up, though. He's got a lot of bites on him. He looks older. I got another beat up one like this here uh, yesterday. Can not open the bite sized pieces so that the iguanas have a good old time eating it up inside the trap. They see another one really munching down on some pieces of fruit. Over. I can lightly smell it. I cannot smell it. Yeah, I can smell it. Anything. It's got a very light, sweet smell. So guys, Jessica is going by the pool area and she's I think she's gonna try to catch the iguanas from that side so they don't see her. And just wanna show you real quick. I see the iguanas just kind of chilling out in that shaded area. So right here, Jessica is sneaking up on this iguana. Oh, I think she's got him. I think she's got the iguana. Hello? Oh my gosh. Yeah, she hadn't laid yet. A lot of them have laid already. She's got some nice blue to her belly almost. You see wow, that? Wow, look at blue that. Blue with the orange. Usually if they're about to lay, you can actually see the outline of eggs. This is where those big iguanas were inside the trap. So we're gonna see if they're still in there. You see them? Is he in there? I see a head. I see two eggs. Oh, they're trying to run out the trap. Oh my gosh, they're trying to flip it. Oh my gosh, we got another one here. Oh my gosh. They flipped it here before and it all ran out when I walked up. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, there's three in it. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get. Oh my this. gosh. So we got three in that one and we got one in this one. Dude, he's got a sick mohawk. He got an iguana hawk. Yo, look at this iguana. Look at his iguana hawk. Lady Iguana. Lady. So it just takes time. I've thought about getting a little chopper though. I used to have a manual chopper that you push down a button and went chop, 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 and it would spin and chop, and then yeah. you dump it out. It was like from the 50s. But it's exactly what I need that I drop in a couple chunks and then just chop, chop, chop. Every one time I've eaten iguana bait before? I have taken a bite of the iguana cantaloupe, but I hate cantaloupe, so then I spit it out. <laughs> when you use frozen fruit, it dries up quicker because. Why does it dry up again? The cells end up busting when you freeze it. And so then the water is released out of all the cells. And uh, that's why it's all mushy whenever you defrost frozen fruit, because all the cells bust. Oh, sure. oh okay. And that's gonna, last, that's gonna be way much better bait, right? Lasts a lot longer. I feel like it lasts longer in the summer heat. It all ran out of the freaking bush. They oh! Great blue heron feet. Dude, how did, how did this happen? I don't know. It looks like some animals ate it, though. They do have a lot of raccoons on this property. So, it, I doubt the raccoons killed it, but once it was dead, they probably scavenged on it. They paid thousands for this to get built. And you see it's already going in. Some of this is regular erosion, but some of it is because the iguanas dig in and make holes. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got his hands stuck. Oh, 
Just say. Thank you, gracias. gracias. Gosh, guys, so as you guys seen what happened, we pulled up on the side of the road. We seen three extremely large iguanas posted up in that dirt pile. Two of them spooked. One of them stood his ground. But when Jessica approached him, out of nowhere, he decided to bolt to the fence. And that's where it got him. That could be probably about three or four years. Yeah, because he's wild. So they grow pretty fast in the wild. What? If it was a pet one, somebody would have it for a long time to get this. Ever in apocalyptic times, you take these off of the iguana, snip the tip off, and it's a little straw. <laughs> Guys, Jessica from Iguana Solutions. I think she's got it around. I think she's got, oh my God. <laughs> Would you look at that? Iguana time. Check him out, he's kind of feisty though. Yeah, he's real feisty. He was ready to whip me, and he's puffing out his thing. Oh, yeah. There's a duck. She's trying to catch the duck. Oh no, the iguana's right next to the duck. I think she's got it around. He's blending. Oh, she's got him. She's got him. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's flipping out, literally. Man. Real mad. He's like a ninja spider. Check him out. Ninja spider. Oh, he ducks right here. Quack, quack. You ran this way? Yeah. Okay. You good? Supposed to be a big Charizard in here somewhere. Yep, goose and an iguana right next to each other. Did she? Yeah, she's wrinkly. Oh yeah, look at mm -hmm. that. She has the wrinkles because she already laid. Oh, she is super wrinkly right mm -hmm. here. Especially right, so soft right here. Oh man. Oh, there's a tail reverb. Yeah. Okay, so they, they try filling it in. They, are the iguanas trying to dig around it? No, they dig under it. Oh, they dig under the stuff? Oh, okay. And, and make a big old hole, and the maintenance guy is always filling it in. He hates him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. He's up in that tree. Okay, so we have Jessica working on this giant iguana right there. And as you guys can see, he's ducking down. He's trying to make himself seem low like a rock. I don't think he has any idea that she's right behind him, though. So. Oh! Oh shoot! Oh my gosh! It just got him. Oh my gosh! Yo, that was awesome. Yeah, we got him. Wow. He has a crazy tail. Oh yeah, he's got a regrown tail. It's like growing sideways. That is wild. These birds are native birds called limpkins. Guys. Check out this iguana right here. Oh man. Look at the tail. Look at the regrow right there. It even it kind of regenerated a little bit crooked right here, but look at that. It's like the full length of the original one. Do you know why he, his hands might be white like might that? Might be about to shed or something. Okay. Yeah, it looks like his head is starting to shed right there. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Got a little bit of escargots right there. Check that out. Oh, they're just having lunch. All right guys, so we in this walkway right now. And I just want to show you guys ahead of us real quick. We got about one, two, three, four, five, ten iguanas all posted up. They like this right here. He's... Oh, he's right there. Oh. They're with babies. Oh, one of their favorites, right? Oh. Oh. Get the pole and knock him out. got one. Oh, she's... You got one? I caught it. Oh. That's yeah, teamwork right there. Yeah, they just doubled up on two iguanas. Yeah, that's why uh, I'm over here right now. Man, y'all have tons of babies. I might need to come here with something else. Well, I saw you get your, you knocked it down. <laughs> yeah, I know, you're right. I caught they're, mine. They're she, she grabbed hers off the tree. Look at those babies. Yeah, they're all over. These are probably last year's babies. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's a Oh, that's a look how green that one is right Yeah, there. he's got a light green with some cool white. Well, they gotta try to bite you. Him. Yeah, it's going good. Uh, this is my friend Raj, he's filming. Yeah. This is my friend Tara, Hi. she's nice to meet you. helping me catch them here and there for fun. She we came out here and basically we said that the maintenance workers filled this in because iguanas were digging underneath. Well, they did fill it in, but here's the thing though. These iguanas have started digging underneath all the rocks that they put.
right here in this oh tree. Gosh. Bro, are you seeing the size of this iguana right here that she just caught? He's a big boy. That is ridiculous right there. All right, you guys, so we are over here. We got these three little baby Iggies. We got this giant iguana right here. She's got a catch pole, she's got a catch pole, and the hunt for these iguanas still continues. Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's and the next one. Got him. Oh. They have orange like on their nose. We got Georgia girl in the bush. What you see in there? Babies. Babies. There's a bunch of them in here. You never, you never go night hunting for babies? I haven't. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Also, comment down below how many iguanas did we catch in total?